Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online and we are here with our beautiful rose stone and our adorable little thistle down and we're actually over here in Fort Pinta today and that's because we're on our way to go see the hermit. I am so excited. I hope that today we will be able to go down to the hermit, we'll be able to meet with him, run his races and possibly end up with our pony from South Hoof. So I'm extremely excited about that. So today might be our pony day but when I came over to Fort Pinta to get ready to go and travel over to South Hoof, I realized James is sitting over here and he still has some quests for us. So let's come over and say hello to James, see what he's up to, and then we will set off with Rose Stone across the waters of the peninsula over to the beautiful South Hoof area. And then we're gonna see if we can find some of those wild ponies and if we can even convince the hermit that we're cool enough to adopt one of our own. All right, so let's see what James has to say for the day. His treasure hunt, the photographer, new photos, Staying the night, save the buoys. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. All right, what about the treasure hunt? Hey, Asaga, I was surfing J Bay the other day and made a great deal. A real treasure map. Well, at least one of the four pieces of one. If I could only get a hold of the other three parts, then I could find the treasure. I'm sure it's amazing. There were two parts up for sale, but I only managed to buy one of them. Someone called Butler the First bought the other one. The only thing I know about him is that he also lives on Yorvik. Oh no, if he's a certain Butler that I'm thinking of, then he certainly is not available at the moment because he drove off after we accused him of locking a girl in the castle. So that might have to wait a little while. Sorry, James. If you want to help me find the other parts of the map, I'll split the treasure with you. Like, what kind of split? I'm on to you, kid. He'd probably be like a, a 99 split for him, 1% for him sort of split. What do you say? If you're up for it, you should fight. Uh, you should start figuring out who Butler the First is and try to get his part of the map. Um, well, we can go ahead and accept that, but I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Pony photographer? Okay then, Saga, I guess you're right. A deal's a deal, but I'm going to lose a lot of money because of their pony race. I'm sure of it. How do you help me out? How uh, about you help me out with a little thing and then we'll get their delivery ready. Deal? Great, write down and take some pictures of the ponies on the barge. I'm going to print up some postcards and sell them to a tourist. Good idea, right? So I should be able to make back some of the money on those little horses after all. Come back when you're finished. Great. All right, so very tiny. Oh my goodness, it's been a long time since we have even touched this quest, but it seems like a good thing to do. Also, this is a drop dead beautiful horse. Oh my gosh, look at the sheer size of it. That's amazing. That's amazing, Rosestone, isn't it amazing? Oh, goodness gracious. All right, but yeah, it's been a long time since we've even touched that particular quest. So what about save the buoys? The life buoys on the beach around Fort Pinta are not where they should be. The wind blows them away from their de des uh, designated places and the tourists use them as beach toys. They don't understand that the buoys are life-saving equipment that must be in place when disaster strikes. Take a tour of the beaches around Fort Pinta, recover five life buoys, and hang them in their places. There are four jetties around Fort Pinta that each need a life buoy, and the last one should hang at the end of the wall by the water below the fort. Oh wow, that's actually really serious for James. I'm pretty impressed. I always wonder if he's like the mayor's kid or something. But I'm really impressed he wants us to go find some buoys. So you know what, that's kind of like, I know, right, Rose Stone? And I'm so sorry, I've been, oh no, and there's the barge. Oh, so tempting. Ah, I need to find a life buoy and then we can get on the barge. Okay, you know what, we're gonna do the life buoy quest. We're gonna help him out there because I am pretty impressed that James is actually trying to do something that'll sort of take care of, uh, that'll take care of Fort, Fort Pinta. That'll take care of everybody's safety. So we'll work on that and then we'll have to go and jump on the itty bitty ferry, which I absolutely adore. All right, let's come up here. Do I have a camera on me? Yeah, there we go. And let's take some pictures of some adorable ponies. There's actually a lot of people here today. Everybody is into the ponies. All right pony pictures. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind me. Excuse me, Rebecca Flower Cloud. Love your name, by the way. Flower Cloud. Isn't that just such a fun name? All right, we're going to come over here. Oh, these ponies have actually made quite a mess, too. Oh, did I just put on some new pants? Well, that's a little awkward. Just changing pants mid, like, photography session. All right, maybe I'm modeling with the ponies, too. All right. Oh, that's so cool. I am modeling with the ponies. <laughs> <laughs> that was totally an accident, but kind of hilarious. <gasps> Look at this one! Rose stone! It's like kind of a tinier version of you with different spots and slightly different coat. Oh, oh, hello, darling. I like you. All right, is that enough pictures? I think there's a couple more pony pictures to take. 
All right. I wish I had like some cute little ribbons or bows or things to put in their hair. Hi. There we go. Oh, we can even learn about them while we're over here. All right. So that is now done. Oh, hey. And there's somebody who I guess we have a quest over here as well with the Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Over at the horse market. You guys have set up over here today, huh? Hi, Saga. Do you think you can help me out with an errand? Um, let's see. Oh, this needs to go to James up here anyway so that she can pay her her bill to him. So, wow, we're really running into a lot of things we can do without even having to leave the area. That's kind of cool. All right, but let's go look for those life buoys and then we can pop back over to James. Let him know that we have done our civic duty in keeping the beaches of Fort Pinta safe. Because that is a serious thing. I don't want to... Oh, dear. Oh, my... Go, Rosto, go! Go, Rosto, go! Woo, that was exciting. Oh, there's one! All right! Yeah, I don't want to see anybody... Oh, no, Rosestone, stop! <laughs> Sorry, Rosestone. We got a little overexcited. I think Thistledown's like, yes, we're in a bush! I'm so happy! All right, there we go. So here we are with some life-saving buoys. So I feel pretty cool then, because we're going we're gonna to help out with the beach. All right, got one there. And then let's go grab some others. All right, everybody's swimming. Horses are, oh! Ah, so cute! Rosestone, what do you think? I think she would enjoy this. And I love the Hawaiian music that starts up, but I'm probably biased because my family's Hawaiian. Da, 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 da. Ah, there we go. If I ever was brave enough, and I'm still a little bit too shy, but if I ever was brave enough to do meetups, I would probably almost think about doing like a beach luau sort of theme. In fact, I wonder if I can buy some things that would be considered beach luau-y over here at the beach store. Let's go find out. Easy there, Rosestone. Okay, uh, I think this is mostly food. Apparel is going to be over there. Now, what does she sell over here for food, though? <gasps> See how cute it is? This looks like the perfect place for a little luau. Does she sell anything we can grab? <gasps> Look at the little coconuts! There's little coconut shell drinks! Oh, that's so cool. That is just so cool. All right, let's go this way. And, aha, there's another one of the buoys. So I'm going to grab that one. Don't see any over here. Aha, but I think I see one of the spots where it needs to hang. So we'll come over here. There we go. Wow, I feel really responsible helping to put up the... Oh, look, there's another one! Helping to put the buoys up where they belong, because that's like a serious thing. I'm sort of stunned that James is the one who's involved with that, but I'm not going to question it. He has his fingers... Oh, there's like a little cauldron outside of that. That's so cute. He has his fingers in a lot of pies, but I can't really fault him for that. All right, then let's come over. Hello, ma'am! Do you happen to have... I want like... Um... I'm thinking more, can I see, let's see, a different angle. Do they have like a hula skirt? I would love a hula skirt. Like I would ridiculously love a hula skirt. There's just blue skirt, blue skirt, summer skirt. I want a hula skirt. Like I really, I just really, really, really want a hula skirt now. <laughs> I got it in my head and now I want to have one. And I doubt that such a thing exists. All right, let's go ahead and ride around. Ha! So here's another one of the spots where we need to hang up. There we go. Hang up these. There's another one. And then I know we passed up. Yeah, there's another one of the spots right over here. See, we're helping out. And then we'll go and we'll see if we can snag our last pony. Or like the last thing we need for the ponies later. There's those mysterious ships again. All right. And I think I'm supposed to do something over here. I spy with my little eye a little bit. Aha! Up there! With a little bit of the orange. I'm constantly like trying to hunt down where the orange pieces are. Because that's where we should go. Oh, hey! That was a pretty horse. Alright, hang on, Rose Stone. Is this a piece to pick up? Aha! So let's put that one there. So now we're just kind of missing like one more piece. And we've got some things to take back to James anyway. <gasps> Look at that! So much yellow! So much adorable puppy! All right, hang on, James. I'm going to come and poke you in just a minute. So I think the beaches... Oh, no, they're going to be the beaches that are all the way on the ground down there, aren't they? Well, now I feel a little bit silly because <laughs> I don't think... I, I'm pretty sure I can't just, like... Rosto, don't worry. I'm not going to make you just, like, fall down, tumble down those cliffs just so we can try to get there a little faster. That's probably not going to help us at all. Um, We can probably ride down there from over here, though, it looks like. 
What a great way to help encourage people to like learn how everything is laid out properly. Aha! See? Wow, she was fast. Somebody came from over here. So can I come down here? Hang in there, Rose Stone. Woo, good job. <laughs> that was pretty good. All right, and now we just need to find the last buoy and then we can go and talk to James and then work our way towards where the hermit is. So let's see, there's that. There's somebody running in place. Now where, aha, there it is, there's the buoy. All right, let's go ahead and grab that. All right, Thistledown, I hope you're having fun running through all these bushes. He's probably just playing, I could just totally see Thistledown waving a pair of tiny ferns, just like a little flag or something, just having a great time playing with a couple ferns, even if he doesn't have any berries to eat right now. All right, then let's run back up. Pretty sure, yeah, this is like a race for a lot of people. So I'm pretty sure we're passing up like a whole bunch of people who are currently running on a race. But let's go back to James and let him know we've completed a few things. Oh gosh, I just really... I don't want to actually have to run the obstacle course. I just want to get back up to Fort Pinta. And then once we finish with all of these things with James, I can head over to South Hoof and that'll be fantastic because we can look for the wild ponies and you guys thank you so much to everybody who leaves such kind comments whenever I'm so nervous about spending time just running through the open fields of South Hoof so many of you are like Siri don't worry it's not boring I love it it's just a peaceful moment to kind of enjoy together and that means so so much to me because that's a huge part of the draw of Star Stable is just being able to run from one corner to another on the back of your horse and just see the landscape and all the details like that adorable little coconut drink. All of the details sort of open up in front of you. That's what it's really about. So thank you guys so much for that. It means a lot. I know it's kind of hard to explain just how much it means, but just trust me. When you're recording this and everybody's like, keep me entertained, it can be very stressful. So for those of you who say that you're okay with the quiet moments, just savoring the beautiful trees and, and the cannons and thinking about the lore and the history that may be behind this area, kind of taking in the environment, it means a lot to me because that's what I love to do. So I'm glad to know that it makes some of you happy too. All right, but enough babbling. Rose Stone, look, it's kind of like a cousin over there. Oh, it's like one of Melanie Warrior. It's Melanie Warrior's brother or sister. All right, Save the Buoys is done. Thank you, Saga. Now we have safety and order around the beaches again. You have no idea how many tourists fall into the water, so it's important that the life buoy is in the right places. Awesome. And then, let's see, Pony Photographer. And then, oh, yeah, hopefully he's happy about that. Um, and then Rent. Okay. There we go. So that's completed. And then, let's see, I think the rest of it should be okay for now. So you're just going to have to wait there, James. I know you have more for me to do. But now that we have taken care of a few things around Fort Pinta, I have a fairy to catch. <gasps> Ooh, go, 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 go. Come on, Rose Stone. Come on, it's right there. Oh my goodness. Follow that person. They know what to do. Okay, don't go into the water, though. Good job, Rose Stone. No, no, no. Almost there. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we were so close, Rose Stone. We were so close. Well, I guess let's go talk to Eddie. All right, let's go see how everybody is doing over at the horse market then. <laughs> that's so funny. See, that's what I mean. I love that about MMORPGs where you have a little bit of a taste of real time dynamics. And if you miss the boat, then you have to come back in a few minutes and getting to share that with you guys, just it means a lot, so thank you. All right, so let's ride over here. There's an adorable little pony. And we're gonna ride up here. And let's see what's going on in the horse market today. So how are you doing, Ferdinand? <laughs> Dearest Saga, it's really lovely you've come to visit us. Your little ray of sunshine. Aw, he's doing it again. All right, Board of Traveling. I thought if we could give them some sugar lumps, it might improve their mood. The security guard here in Fort Pinta is an old friend of ours. Perhaps you could ask him for a few sugar lumps to spare for us. Thanks, Saga. Come back when you've got some sugar lumps, and I'll see that the horses will be in a much better mood. All right, well, we can definitely handle that. We can definitely handle that. Might as well do it, because it'll give us a little bit of experience while we wait for the ferry to come back. That is so funny that we just missed the ferry. The person in front of us was probably like, yes, because she landed just in time, made that jump, 
got to there just in time and we barely missed it. That was pretty awesome. All right. Well, Thistledown, I hope you're having fun like building sandcastles inside of your saddlebag or something like that because it's going to be just a moment. But let's go check out this awesome security guard. I still loved his Operation Iron Cockroach. What? Sugar? Sugar! Here, as allied soldiers tumble down the cliffs like lemmings, you're asking for sugar? Ten hut! Sugar. I hardly think you'll find any sugar here. In the middle of this terrible natural catastrophe, we don't exactly have the time for such civil frivolities. Right this second, we're in the midst of a disaster of apocalyptic proportions that frankly demands our total engagement and, and dedication of everybody involved. What do you mean, why am I upset? Upset? Hmm? Calm down? Me? Ugh. Well... Yesterday, I was patrolling the base and inspecting the fortifications to ensure infiltrators couldn't get in and that no tourists got lost in the fort. I almost walked right off the edge of the cliff. I was peering through my binoculars to check for enemies as I patrolled and didn't exactly notice that I was so close to the edge. I was an inch away from toppling right over into the sea and it was only my superior commando tra training that saved me. What kind of training? Mm. Yes, I was actually in the Jorvik Junior Jazz Tap <laughs> Competition when I was younger. That's actually very much like real commando training, if you don't mind. Okay. Anyway, now that I've made these marvelous hazard signs, they must be erected so that the same thing doesn't happen to some standard civilian. Private Saga, attention! You are hereby ordered to install these signs in the appropriate locations along the fortifications. Move out! Forward march! All right, so that's what we're doing now. That's kind of hilarious. All right. So, fortifications, got it. Cliffs, got it. All right, so let's go take care of this and we'll just have to see if we're even able to get to the market today. That'd be kind of hilarious if we, we weren't quite able to make it to South of today. And we'll have to wait till this weekend. Ah, there we go. And we have to wait till this weekend to go ahead and go get our beautiful pony. But Again, that's kind of the appeal of it, too. You just never know what's going to unfold because the world feels so alive. And I really, really love that. All right. So let's see. All right. There is a good spot where a certain, certain not paying attention to things commando security guard needs us to put these fences up. There we go. Hello, Nova. Oh, what a cute little bun bun. All right. And then let's see. Is it up on top, you think? Or is it going to be? I think it might be down below. Let's see, I might have to ride up top. I'm not sure. Oh, nope, 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 here we go. All right, so here's a good sign right there. And then there is one last spot. Where is it? Aha, right here. To make sure people don't fall into the water and the fairy's still not back. That's kind of hilarious. Do, do, do. Um, let's see, oh no. Hello, Nova. There we go. As usual, I feel really shy about chit-chatting when I am like recording, so I apologize if I don't say much more. But you guys know my heart's there. I'm just really shy. I, like I feel like I have to run away. I'm just like, ah, people. Oh. So believe it or not, I am tremendously shy in real life. All right. Oh, look at that. That's so beautiful. Somebody walking up there. Oh, and it looked like she fell off for a second. Attention. Are all of the hazard signs in place? They sure are, sir. Ten hut. Don't just stand here loitering, Private Saga. Here's your sugar, just as we agreed. Report back to General Ferdinand immediately. Between you and me, I'll be recommending you for a medal for your heroic contribution here today. Hmm. Move out. Forward march. All right. So I think, you know what? If he wants to be the kind of guy who organizes his life in terms of, um, like, military structure and hierarchy, I can understand that. If you just want everything to be nice and tidy and organized... All right, so let's go back to uh, General Ferdinand. He's, it looks like he's floating in the sea. That's so cool. And then hopefully next time we'll be able to get on the ferry to South of and go and enjoy the beautiful, beautiful scenery there and hopefully be able to get our ponies. So this was kind of fun, though. I mean, I, I participated in some life-saving measures for the people of Fort Pinta. And, you know, that feels pretty awesome, helping somebody out like that. It really does. I like doing that with my day. Oh, I see you've got sugar lumps with you. Now our horses are going to cheer right up, I'm sure. All right, there we go. And I know what comes next. So I'm not going to, I'm not, 
Oh, no, I did it. I was gonna say I'm not gonna do it, but I did it. All right, well, I'm gonna take care of that, and then hopefully next time we will be able to, let's go get the horses, we'll be able to jump on the ferry and go get our ponies, but at least we can admire the beautiful ponies here. Do I just have to find the horses? Maybe I just have to find all the horses. Do I have to guide the horses? All right, I'll go find all of the horses and wait for the ferry, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, everyone.